This is, is it Sweet Potato or Hugh Jackman? <laughs> <laughs> the first one coming up now. Have a look at this. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Was that from your Snapchat? Is, have you been sending that to people? Terrence. Okay. That's terrible. What do you think? Is that Hugh or Sweet Potato? <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say me, but it's, it's, I want to say me, but it's probably sweet potato. It was a sweet potato. Yeah, it was. Okay, let's have a look at was another it? one. Let's have a look at another one. Here's another one. Hugh Jackman or sweet potato? So, 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 uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a perfectly innocent game. You can play with your kids. It is sweet potato, but I wish it was Hugh Jackman. Okay, you're right. Sweet potato. Last one. Hugh Jackman or sweet potato? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Hugh Jackman. It was Hugh Jackman. Was. Congratulations. <laughs> three for three. <laughs> Who knew a sweet potato could be so powerfully erotic? <laughs> 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 it's Carl Edgerton and Hugh Jackman. Here they are. <laughs> you know, that was hard to do, wasn't it? Nice to see you. Nice, lovely to see lovely you. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Loving your work. You're yeah. wonderful in the movie. You're fab too. Thank you so Great much. Great to have you here. So, the exciting <laughs> news is Eddie the Eagle, the film, opens next Friday, the 1st of April. Um, now, I was a young man when Eddie Eagle first burst on the scene, so I know yeah. all about him. Was he big news in Australia as well, huge. Hugh? He was huge. We loved him. He's like an honorary Australian. He's the ultimate in just having a go. And we lo I do remember jumping off my mate's, like, veranda into the pool, pretending to be Eddie the Eagle, doing all that. He was huge. They, they love him. And what about you, Town? Because you are considerably younger than both of us. This is true. I'm a lot said. younger than both of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, well, I, it, was, it all happened in 1988. Yes. How old were you then? Uh, I was a twinkle in my dad's eye then. It was you weren't like, even born? Uh, 1989 I was born, November oh. 1989. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. no, I knew nothing about the story. Matthew Vaughan, our eminent producer, he's backstage, <laughs> um, uh, called me about it and said, look, I know you would like to do something different after Kingsman. I think I've got this great idea for this, uh, this movie about Eddie the Eagle, and he had this brilliant script, and I read it, and it was just incredible. Were you, when, when he said that you, I guess he thought you'd be perfect for the role, then when you saw what Eddie looked like, were you a, a little disappointed that he'd thought that... You, you know what I mean? Because I love Eddie the Eagle, but he is, you know, he is a, he is a type, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, how did he sell it to you? So, <laughs> well, Eddie is actually a very good-looking guy now, but in 1988, you're quite right, he had quite a characterful sort of look. He had quite a prominent underbite, Coke bottle glasses. Yes. It, was, it was great yeah. that Matthew felt that I could do something so different yeah. from Kingsman. Yeah. Uh, it was a, an irresistible challenge. And, and, so, and you didn't use prosthetics, because you, you captured no. the face well in the film. Thank you. Um, no, none, none whatsoever. <laughs> We have the glasses here. These are the Eddie Eagle style glasses. I can't believe Would this. You... I've been in the show twice, and both times I've been asked to put on the Eddie the Eagle glasses. <laughs> so, and you... and... <laughs> it's quite uncanny. But how is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite remarkable. <laughs> Hugh, how was it for you, though, working? Because you, you see I, Eddie... I laughed. I, it, I, I just laughed. I, I, yeah, I can't do it. Every time he did the face, to this day, I just... Mm, like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my... And he made me laugh so much every day and just doing that face. He is one of the funniest men I've ever met, but he's absolutely brilliant as Eddie. Now, uh, Hugh, in the film, you play a guy called Bronson Peary, yep. who uh, is... He, he kind of coaches Eddie, doesn't he? He kind of is... Uh, initially, he's reluctant, but he helps him and he comes... Up. But he, that's not a, a real person in the real Eddie Eagle story, is it? No. Though? I mean, there's a few liberties with his life to, to be able to tell a story. He actually had... Uh, Eddie told me about 30 kind of coaches oh. or people he got tips from or equipment from, but there was no one real coach. But obviously, the writer just smartly sort of amalgamated all that into one... Yeah. Guy Bronson Peary, who was an ex jumper and does uh, spends most of the movie trying to tell him to get lost. There's a sequence in the movie in which, uh, as Bronson, the coach, yes. you're encouraging Eddie, I guess, to kind of be a bit more primal, to release yeah. stuff inside him. Yeah, to really embrace the yeah. animal within. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you ask him to, to recapture the face, the, his love making face. Yes. It's about a five minute sequence of yep. you just doing love making faces. And to be fair, when my wife saw it, she turned to me and said, it doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's much quicker than it was. No, no, no. <laughs> it is something like a... Yeah! Woo! Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Woo! Jack, wow. look at that!
So, Taryn, you, 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 you were in really buff shape for Kingsman. I knew we were going to go and then, But for this, did, did they ask you not... I mean, did they ask you to lose some of the fitness? Some, um, no, basically, Matthew... Basically, Matthew Vaughan, who directed Kingsman and also produced Eddie the Eagle, held a whip behind me for Kingsman and forced me to get into shape, and he's doing the same thing now. So when he doesn't do that, Eddie the Eagle happens. So, <laughs> so that was more comfortable. I guess it was nice. Yeah, that, that's me. I'm sorry to any fans <laughs> I, I gained from Kingsman. That's the real me. <laughs> it's not going to change any time soon. But that's nice. A cuddly, a cuddly person is nice. Cuddly. Sure. <laughs> So, you're just about to start filming Kingsman 2. Very soon. That's exciting, isn't it? It is, yeah. And what about Wolverine? You're doing one more Wolverine film, aren't you? Yeah, one more. Is that so... going to be the last... <laughs> the last time you strap on the claws? That's, a, yeah, that's the last one, with the strap on. That's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, no, this is the last one. It's been 17 years. I can't believe it. That's been... incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. And so why are you calling it a day now? Because I was reading the other day that uh, <laughs> Harrison Ford is doing yet another Indiana Jones film, which I'm thrilled, because I love right. seeing the screen. And you can get away with a certain amount with, like, the smoke and mirrors that, that make movies. Yeah. You know, not so much with Wolverine, I guess, but you could carry on for a while longer. Well, with cameos, it kind of is eight, already eight. It feels like a lot, you know, and I've loved it, and I'm so excited about this last one. I can't in my head think of anything else to do with the character. But I know someone else will take over the role. And, I mean, you seem to be getting into shape. Is there yeah. something you want to yeah. share with us? Maybe you're looking to put on the cloth? I obviously do have a Wolverine outfit at home. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't look quite the same on me. Uh, so when is that? This is, this is, yeah. this is the last X-Men film. That is this going to be the big X-Men film with him? Is this Armageddon or is there one, a Wolverine No, this separate? is just, just Wolverine, just solo. And, wow. and, and we start shooting that uh, pretty soon. So it'll come wow. out next year sometime. And, so, and after that, do you have plans? Because that's been such a huge part of your life. I guess that's dominated your working years to, ex to an extent. Yeah, it? it's like been every two or three years for 17 years. So I'll be calling you up and you up for jobs and probably some people here up for oh, jobs. So, <laughs> yeah. what, about the, uh, what about the fitness aspect of that? Because I guess that's one of the reasons why yeah. you got as ripped as you did, of course, oh, yeah. isn't it? And you must be... Are you kind of slightly addicted to that now? Is that... Because it must be such a buzz being able to do that kind of thing. No, I'm not addicted. It's... I mean, look, I actually do like the feeling of being strong. And I'm, I'm training way harder than I would if I wasn't in one of these movies. But it's painful. It actually hurts, and it is... It, people say you get addicted to it. I'm not addicted to it. I'll be quiet looking forward to yeah. having a few beers, some burgers, and just sort of, you know, yeah. hanging out. So, yeah, get ready Cut. the next time I'm on. <laughs> Uh, OK, so, you know, uh, let me have a look at the, some footage I saw, because I want to show you this, because this shows you uh, dedication, I think, to filmmaking, because we, we saw some stuff for that uh, uh, Hugh had been doing while making movies to keep in shape. There's a little bit of gym footage. Isn't and this awesome. is what Hugh does. Even when he's working, he finds time to do this. Have a look at this. And we have some town footage as well to show you. So, this is Hugh. <laughs> Serious weight. Serious weight there. It, it, it actually makes a lot of sense to say things like yes and don't touch it. At the time, <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> and when you watch it, it's absolutely humiliating. <laughs> okay. Don't well, touch it! <laughs> I can do it! Yes! <laughs> it's, pathetic. it's quite pathetic. What is it you lift? What is the weight you can deadlift up from the, like that movement? 455. Wow. And Taron, I know that you're very dedicated to your craft and we have some footage of what Taron does when he's not filming as well. And you can see, you have a look, look at this, see how dedicated he is as well. <laughs> that's, uh, that's your... That takes a certain amount of focus as well. That... Yeah, that is, um... Who is that? Was that you with your mum? That is my poor mother, yeah. <laughs> Hey, let me ask you something. This may be a rumour that, that isn't, there's no truth in at all. It may be something that's happening. There's talk going around that you may be playing the young Han Solo. I've heard this rumour. Yes. Um, I mean, I've seen the stuff on the internet and I think any, you know, uh, lad of my age would kill to play a, a part like that. It's very, very flattering. I've no idea if there's any truth in it, but, I mean, Lucasfilm, Disney, if, if there is, then you, you know where I am. So they haven't contacted you yet? No, they've not, no. Oh, well, then no. it won't be you. Oh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> that is that, that's, that's that one done, isn't it? Yeah. Hugh, have you, you had a call already? Yeah, no, 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 I know nothing about it. <laughs> yeah. But you should audition. You should. You should go for it. Who could be Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually can't do, do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, 
Alabama. Very good. That's the it's green casket. We've got the young Han Solo and the young Chewbacca <laughs> right here. Thank you very, very much. You know, multi-talented, I guess. <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever seen you do. <laughs>